Okay, so today, guys, I wanted to show you real quick uh, the new Audi Pure Fords that just came out. These ones are black, obviously, uh, and metallic, silver, and fresh splash. I'm sorry, black, metallic, and fresh splash. So, at first sight, they look like your average Audi Pure Ford. No shock there, nothing new, nothing different, as far as you can tell, anyway. But, what you'll notice, when we start to go a little bit through this, they are not what they seem. So, Audi Pure 4, black, metallic, fresh splash. You take a look, outsole looks absolutely exactly the same, nothing different there. Uh, all the studs are the same, all the mold points are the same, the bonding points, such as here and up here are the exact same, nothing different there. Outsole looks exactly the same. Sock liner is exactly the same, still has that ridge right through the middle. Some people like, some people don't. Let me get this little cardboard thing out of here. <clears throat> okay. So, like I said, sock liner exactly the same, nothing different there. Now I grabbed a size 8 in these because I wanted to show you guys something real quick. Nothing different on the interior of the shoe. What I wanted to show you was, I actually have another size 8 in the old black, white, poppy colorway over here. I want to give you guys a look-see real fast at something. So again, same drill. Same bonding points. Can't really see it on this one because of the glare, but there and right up here, right there. Again, you can't really see it all that well because um, of the black. But yeah, so there it is. Um, same outsole, same sock liner. Where they deviate is the upper and its shape. The shape of these two shoes in the upper is very, very different. Most of these uppers, off the room and in, most of these uppers from one shoe to the next are generally the same. These shoes are very much an exception. If you take a look, again, these are both size 8s. I'll show that to you right here. Take the tag, still attached. Show you to you, US 8 right there. And then right on the tongue here, US 8. Okay? Exact same size shoe. But now I want you to take a look at these two shoes and tell me that there is not a big difference between the two. Look at the width on them. You see how rounded the toe box is on the Audi Pier 4 and the white, black, I'm sorry, the black, white, blue. And then you look at how pointed it is on the black, white, on the black, white, red. You can see there's a big difference there. Also through the middle of the shoe right here, there is a, a wider uh, toe box right through the middle here. Here it's kind of pointed on either side. Here, not so much, it's very much rounded. But the biggest difference, and the one that has affected the fit and feel for many, many people that we've had in here to try them on, is the profile of the shoe. If you take a look straight on, you'll see the shoe has a bit of a point to it. It comes down and goes right back up at the toe. If you take a look at the old Audi Pure 4s, it's straight on. There's none of that dip right there through the middle of the shoe. Dip no dip. When you're trying these shoes on right here, this little hook right here that comes down and then leads up to the pointed toe, and same drill, look at the, how low that front stud is versus how high that front stud is. You can absolutely see the difference. It's major. This is a huge tall toe box right here. And again, there's nothing in that toe right now. This little squishy toe box. Now, the thing that really has been driving people a little bit nuts is that this profile right here grabs the top of your foot and won't let go. It's way, way, way too snug. It's, uh, it's been very difficult to get people to fit into these as a result of it. These old ones, no problem. These new ones, less so. Um, it was meant to, what we're told is that the redesign was meant to fit more wide feet. It does not do that because it's too low through the top of the shoe you end up busting right through the laces here, so not good. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to tell you don't buy this shoe, but I'll tell you this right now. 
Unless you have a very short foot, this is probably not the cleat for you. Basically, it's just it's too difficult to fit into. Um, the leather does stretch a lot on top, same with these ones. But the leather on these ones, you're not even going to get the chance to get a stretch in on these. It's just, it's it's too painful. I've tried them on myself. It's it's way too much. Uh, a couple of my coworkers, same drill. Uh, we've had customers try them on. It's just, it's not, not good. So if I may, uh, I might suggest going with the older version of the Audi Pier 4 over the newer version. But if you've got to get an Audi Pier 4, if you're just, you're in love with this shoe and this is just your shoe, like I said, Go back with the black, white, red. There's also three other colorways that were made right around the same time as this one. Go with the earlier colorways, not the later ones. You will thank me later. Anyway, you can check them all out on goldstore.com if you want, and uh, we always appreciate feedback, so feel free and leave us messages. Thanks very much, guys. We appreciate you tuning in.